I'm Alan Johnson, and this video introduces the AMSAT CubeSat simulator. So this is the AMSAT CubeSat simulator here. You can see it looks like a CubeSat. It's 10 centimeters uh, squared on all sides there. Uh, and it's got a remove before flight tag there that uh, that's used to uh, de-energize it prior to launch. Um, it has a camera uh, and, and an antenna. Uh, and a 3D printed frame. So inside the frame there, it looks like this. So there are, uh, there are multiple boards stacked up. There's the rechargeable batteries. On the bottom there is a, um, is a Raspberry Pi Zero. That's what it looks like when it's not plugged into things. It's a very low cost, like a $15 uh, single board computer. Um, and this, this particular one here has, um, uh, has a tape measure antenna here, which would normally be folded up. Uh, this one has a, uh, has a little, little screw on antenna there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and power this up so that it starts transmitting. Um, this board on the top is the payload board, and this is a little Arduino compatible microcontroller. This is a uh, gyro, uh, also known as an IMU, an inertial measurement unit, basically an accelerometer, um, and, uh, and also um, measures rotation. And this sensor here is a pressure, altitude, and, uh, and uh, uh, temperature sensor as well. So let's see if this uh, gets going here. Yeah, the, the lights are, are turning on here. And you can hear it. Uh, you can hear it transmitting. I have my radio turned on. So it's just transmitting a uh, Morse code ID. By the way, this is my radio here that I'm receiving it. It's on four thirty four point nine megahertz. Now this is a this is a low rumbling sound. Um, that is a uh, that is a uh, um, a uh, digital telemetry signal, and uh, we can we can decode it on this ground station here. This is uh, basically a, uh, a a Raspberry Pi, a bigger Raspberry Pi. This is like a a Raspberry Pi four, a full size one, complete with USB and monitor outputs and all that. And the radio piece of it is this RTL SDR, which is uh, which is a very low cost uh, software defined radio. It's basically just an analog to digital converter with a little antenna. Um, and so if I run the software, it's a little hard to see, um, but you can see there's a signal here and an eye diagram and the data. And, uh, and we can look at, the, look at the data, all the various telemetry. You can, for example, read that the battery voltage is uh, 3.9 volts and the battery current is 250 uh, milliamps on there. So this just gives you an idea of, uh, of what, you can, what you can do with the, uh, with the CubeSat simulator. Uh, you can also change modes using this little push button here. Um, so for example, if I change it to APRS mode, instead of it sending a, a continuous stream of telemetry, it's going to uh, it's going to just send little packets, uh, and those packets will actually sound like uh, like um, like uh, old-fashioned uh, dial-up modem sounds uh, because it's actually the same same kind of signal. So let's see once it gets going. We'll get some little. There we go. That's what it sounds like, and we can uh, and we can decode what those packets are, and each packet is getting decoded um, by the software there. Now we can also, also do uh, other modes. Uh, and one of the fun modes is um, uh, slow scan TV. Now this particular one does not have a built-in camera. Um, so it's only going to transmit a uh, a um, stored image here. Let me run the decoding there. If I were transmitting with this one that has a camera, 
it would uh, it would take a picture every uh, every 30 seconds and then transmit it. <laughs> so that's the that's the funny sound that uh, of slow scan TV. It's basically a whole series of tones, and uh, you can see the image slowly filling in filling in here. It's just the uh, AMSAT logo. I turn that down a bit because it's a little bit annoying. So yeah, so this is uh, this is what the uh, CubeSat simulator is, and you could use it to to do all kinds of uh, demonstrations and uh, and STEM outreach.